We're live, we're local, we're CBS 3. Tonight, lucky to be alive. We hear from one of the anglers stranded on Lake Superior this morning, his message of gratitude. And moving in the right direction. That's what Minnesota's governor is saying about vaccine rollout as they try and ramp up distribution. Plus, the trial trudges forward. The rules are now set as Donald Trump's second impeachment makes its way through the Senate. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us tonight. The Senate will move forward with the second impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump. In a 56 to 44 vote, the senators agreed that they have jurisdiction over the case. Natalie Brand reports from Capitol Hill. House impeachment managers opened former President Donald Trump's second impeachment trial with a video showing scenes from the attack on the Capitol last month, taking senators who are now jurors back to the events of that day. The president was impeached by the U.S. House of Representatives on January 13th for doing that. If that's not an impeachable offense, then there is no such thing. Presidents can't inflame insurrection in their final weeks and then walk away like nothing happened. Attorneys for the former president argued that the trial is unconstitutional because Mr. Trump is no longer in the White House. This is not just about Donald Trump or any individual. This is about our Constitution and abusing the impeachment power for political gain. Day one wrapped with a majority of senators voting to move forward. On this vote, the A's are 56, the days are 44. The Senate shall proceed with the trial. Six Senate Republicans joined with Democrats. One of those GOP senators was Louisiana's Bill Cassidy. President Trump's team were disorganized. They did everything they could but to talk about the question at hand. And when they talked about it, they kind of glided over it, almost as if they were embarrassed of their arguments. Sources familiar with Mr. Trump's reaction to Tuesday's proceedings described the former president as angry at his lawyer's lackluster performances. Opening arguments are slated to start at noon on Wednesday. Each side will have up to 16 hours to make their case. One person is dead and four others are wounded after a shooting rampage occurred at a health clinic in Buffalo, Minnesota. According to police, the suspect is 67-year-old Gregory Ulrich, who was angered by the care he received at the facility. The shooting began earlier today at the hospital, which is northwest of the Twin Cities. A former neighbor calls Ulrich combative and said he liked to argue about almost anything. That same neighbor says he noticed a sign outside Ulrich's home that now has him questioning what was going on. He had a sign that was handwritten. Uh, it said Alina Crooks in, in letters big enough across the top that you could read from a car driving by. Now three of the other victims remain in critical condition tonight while one was discharged from the hospital. Let's go over to Dave for a quick look at the weather. Dave, almost a heat wave up out there today. Some of us reached single digits above zero for a change. <laughs> yeah, maybe half the region, which included okay. a whopping two degrees above zero at Duluth International Airport. But as we take a look at the map, we will see that other towns north of Duluth were still below, like Hibbing at one below. And International Falls at 6 below. Again, keep in mind, these are today's high temperatures. Did go to 7 above in Hayward, but I don't think we're going to be that lucky tomorrow. It's going to be cold again, especially tonight with actual air temps running 15 to 25 below again. And with the wind going about 15 miles per hour, yes, we have another wind chill advisory. This one covers the entire region. And this one just might stay in effect all the way until Sunday at noon. Weather Service not messing around with taking them down and putting them back up again. Put it up and keep it up until we don't need it anymore. And we're probably going to need it for a while, including tomorrow, because Arctic high pressure has a hold of us. Tomorrow morning's low in the Twin Ports, about 20 below. The afternoon high of 2 below. Yeah, so today's 2 above. Bank that for a while, because it is going to be a while until we warm up. Although there's a sign of moderation by perhaps the start of next week. And we'll show that to you coming up in a few more minutes. Thanks, Dave. Tonight, a big group of anglers is lucky to be alive after a scary scene on Lake Superior this morning. Nearly 30 fishermen became stranded on the big lake when the ice around them began to break away from shore. 
CBS 3's Kendall Jarbo heard from one of those stranded anglers who shares his message of gratitude. It's been cold, so we thought there was plenty of ice. Jack Silgen spent Tuesday morning fishing on Lake Superior. This was his second time out on the big lake, but this time the ice beneath his feet began to crack. My friend Nick and I, who I, who I was fishing with, um, heard some yelling outside, and we, we looked out and we saw open water, so we packed up as quick as we could, but and took off running, seeing if we could maybe get off, but it was there was too large of a gap. 26 anglers in total stranded on Lake Superior. Emergency crews quickly responded, eventually bringing everyone to safety. Duluth Fire Chief Sean Crage says the lake's ice conditions can change in an instant. You know, be cautious, be careful. That's my best recommendation. You know, I hate to say don't ever go out on the ice, but uh, the problem is, is you just don't know. You can never know. For Siljan, he's grateful to his rescuers. Huge thank you. I mean, uh, one guy swam across to to put stakes in so we could shuttle people across. I mean, they, they were putting their own lives at risk to, to help us out. So huge thank you to them. This close call won't stop him from fishing again. I think I'll be back out there at some point. Okay. But next time, under the right conditions. Could never be too safe on Superior. Crage says they've done a large rescue like this before, but this is the biggest one they've had in the past few years. He says in these situations, it's crucial to stay out of the water at all costs. Wisconsin's governor says he's hoping to announce more community-based vaccine clinics across the state. That announcement is expected later in the week, but Wisconsin's first public vaccine clinic is opening up a week from today in Rock County. It's still not clear who exactly will be eligible to get a vaccine there at first. But Governor Tony Evers says they hope to open it up to more people and open more clinics once the state receives more doses. Get Wisconsin the supply and we will get shots in the arms. Because we are all safer, we are all better off, and we are all closer to recovery when everybody gets vaccinated. The state plans to open between 6 and 10 additional community vaccine clinics. More than 10% of Wisconsin residents have received their first dose of the vaccine. 170,000 people have received both doses. Moving in the right direction. That's what Minnesota Governor Tim Walz says about the state's vaccination efforts. Walz says a new shipment of vaccines is expected to arrive in Minnesota next week. CBS 3's John Cardinelli reports on the progress being made. A message of hope coming from Governor Tim Walz on Tuesday while addressing the state of Minnesota's vaccination plan. The fight is still going on, um, but the tide is definitely turning in this battle against COVID. Part of that turning tide, the progress being made vaccinating long-term care residents. We should uh, be pretty much by the end of February, have most long-term care facilities throughout Minnesota should be done, should have their second doses done. Governor Walls also touched on some good news coming from the White House. Another increase in dosages that are coming, some talk about the potential for the, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine to be coming. Starting next week, the Biden administration says Minnesota will receive a 5% boost in the number of vaccines the state receives. So we're up to uh, like a almost a 28% increase over where we would have been without these uh, this, this federal assistance. While that assistance helps, health officials say there's still a long way to go in getting the shots where they're needed most. When we spread it across the whole state, it uh, doesn't, like, uh, doesn't feel like a lot to the people in communities, but it's, it's a surely a step in the right direction. State health data released today shows Minnesota's COVID-19 seven-day case positivity rate has fallen to just 4%. That's the lowest it's been since June. An optimistic outlook for the year ahead for U.S. Steel plus Ely City Council is taking a stand on a big issue. Kristen has more in this week's Eye on Mining. In years past, iron ore pellets produced at U.S. Steel's iron range operations were sent to the company's blast furnaces. But now, that's changing. During the company's most recent earnings call, President and CEO David Burrett said U.S. Steel will now be selling pellets to other steel makers, although there weren't any specific details given on where the pellets will be going. During the conference call, Burrett said U.S. Steel decided to play offense during what was a difficult year for the industry, and that is playing out in their favor for the year ahead. 
Meanwhile, Ely City Council made a statement at its last meeting that they do not approve of the Prove It First legislation being proposed at the Minnesota State Capitol. It would require scientific proof that a similar mine has operated somewhere else in the United States for at least 10 years and has been closed for another 10 years without causing pollution. With no opposition, the Ely City Council adopted another resolution in support of sulfide mining in the BWCA watershed. Twin Metals is currently under environmental review to open the state's first copper and nickel underground mine near Ely. And in case you missed it, last night, Cliff CEO Lorenzo Gonzalez and Governor Tim Walls had a meeting yesterday to discuss the future of Hibbing Taconite. Gonzalez said Cliffs has a solution to extend the mines or reserve, which does not involve a land swap with other companies. You can read more about that on our website, cbs3duluth.com. Still to come on live local CBS3, keeping the heat on during this brutal cold stretch is vital, but for some, bills are stacking up. How to find help coming up next. 36 blows the record low for this day from 1899. Well, it won't be quite as cold tomorrow morning, maybe around 20 below here in the Twin Ports. 25 below inland, cold snap continues. We'll talk about for how long coming up after our break. Live, local, CBS3 News at 10 with Kristen Vockey, Anthony Matt, Kelly Hinson, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live Local CBS3. Join us weeknights for Live at 5 as we go around the Northland city by city. But my family has noticed that I smile for the first time in 20 years. And not only do I smile, I smile a lot now. And uh, it's one great feeling. It made the difference between me having uh, really awful teeth to somebody who is going around grinning like an idiot. Never be afraid to smile again. Call Lake Dental today for your free smile analysis. Dear Winter, I'm coming. My squad of 15 vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of my game, so you better bundle up. Toyota. President's Day deals are on. Get $1,500 customer cash on a new 2021 Highlander or Highlander Hybrid. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. This Valentine's Day, Numi Jewelers is featuring three ways to a woman's heart. A real rose trimmed in pure 24 karat gold that lasts forever. An 18-inch freshwater pearl necklace and a box of chocolates, all for $99. True love is guaranteed at Numi Jewelers. Please join us in our efforts to protect people with disabilities and those Minnesotans most vulnerable to COVID-19. Access North has partnered with the Minnesota Department of Health to be a covert community coordinator. Thank you, Access North, for being an advocate and a resource for people with disabilities. Contact Access North Center for Independent Living, your local COVID community coordinator resource for people with disabilities. Let's all work together and we can beat this virus and save lives. At Miners National Bank of Eveleth, we know it takes knowledge, dedication, and teamwork to be the home loan experts. With over 115 years and four family generations, we have proven we have the experience to be the best in the business. For your first or next home loan, call the experts you can trust at Miners National Bank. Their teamwork is unmatched, and they will bump out any rough spots along the way. Make your house a home with Miners National Bank. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Here at Locally Owned Adolphson Real Estate, we are ready to help you find the perfect office space to fit your business's needs with no extra fees. Take a look at the spectacular highway frontage business with great traffic exposure on Miller Trunk Highway. Please call our Coquet office for more details. Call us today to schedule a tour at Adolphson Real Estate. CBS 3 Weather is brought to you by Cary Toyota. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. A few minutes ago, we showed you today's daytime highs, which are not very impressive. Here's this morning's lows. Impressive if you take a look at the cold spots. Hibbing Chisholm Airport, 32 degrees below zero. 22 below from International Falls to Big Fork. And Grand Rapids was a bit brisk, so was Silver Bay. 22 below at Seoul and Springs Airport. Hayward as well. 28 degrees below zero down towards Waters Meet. So maybe not quite as cold tomorrow, but within the ballpark. I think a general range tomorrow is going to be... Oh, about 15 to 25 below. And with the wind chill advisory for all zones tonight, 
Uh, heat will be removed from exposed skin as if it were 30 to 40 below. That's how that wind chill factor works. Well, right now at the airport in Duluth, it's 7 below, 59% for the relative humidity, west-northwest wind. It's going 10 miles per hour, but has the capacity and the capability of going towards 15 plus. So that's why we have the wind chill advisory. 30.36 inches of mercury is high pressure. And that's what's reading on our barometers here tonight because of Arctic high pressure. That's come in courtesy of the polar vortex and probably will be with us through Saturday, perhaps Sunday. Maybe Monday we start to moderate just a little bit. Keywords there, just a little bit. Three below in the Upper Peninsula right now from Watersmeet to Ironwood. Two below Ashland and Hayward. Four below in Superior. Eight degrees below zero over around Cloquet and Carlton. Eleven below Silver Bay and Eveleth, Virginia. Gilbert. 11 below for our friends in Grand Rapids as well. 15 below from Ely to Orr probably includes Tower Sedan. And then 18 below International Falls. So another chilly night coming around and could go towards 25 below tomorrow morning, as I mentioned. And now we factor in the winds, and it feels like 33 below International Falls, 15 degrees below zero near Hayward, and 22 below in Ironwood. So do bundle up if you have to go out and about. And as we've been saying all week long, you got outdoor animals. Make sure they have what they need to get through this. For us to get through it, just going to be a matter of time, but an extended period of time. Tonight, on the clear side and the dry side, not much action going on with the Doppler map. A few clouds over the lake where it's a little bit warmer and there's a little more lift than from heat. Use that term loosely, rising up off of the lake. Well, for tomorrow, Arctic high pressure still keeps us cold and on the drier side. But Thursday, there's a slight chance for a tiny bit of adventure as a small wave of lower pressure works its way up and over the dome of high pressure at the surface and tries to crank out some flurries. Northwest wind accompanying this wave will actually drive a couple of slight chances for lake effect as well. But you put it all together, it's still only a 30% chance. And if it happens, probably less than an inch for accumulations in it dries up again and stays cold through the weekend tonight cold minnesota lows 15 to 25 below clear to partly cloudy sky we'll share that with wisconsin and the up where lows will go 15 to 20 below for tomorrow wisconsin michigan high temp zero to three above plenty of sunshine for everybody including minnesotans where the highs will go five below inland to maybe one above right by the lake extended forecast stays very cold through sunday so Sunday afternoon, as we perk back up towards zero, that's a sign we could hit seven single digits on Monday. Tony, double digits Tuesday, 12 above. And that is still going to be colder than normal, but it's going to be a lot warmer than now. So we will call that a success and a potential end to the cold snap. Okay, thanks, Dave. Well, the cold snap we're seeing across the Northland likely has you turning up your thermostat, but turning up the heat could result in a bigger bill at the end of the month. Duluth City officials want you to know if you're having trouble making payments, especially during the pandemic, help is available. According to Duluth City officials, in January, Comfort Systems was reporting customers were behind a total of $820,000 on their heating bills. While that number is exceptionally high, it's an improvement since the beginning of the pandemic. In July 2020, customers were behind $978,000 on their payments. City officials say the numbers are dropping, likely because people are seeking assistance. So you want to make sure people are applying for fuel assistance through AEOA, um, crisis funds from the county. If you're a veteran, you can seek help from the Minnesota Assistance Council for Veterans, Matt V. City officials also recommend getting your heating system serviced yearly as you'll get more use out of them. You can also call the city to help set up a payment plan for your heating bill through the city credit department. During Black History Month, the city of Superior is recognizing their black-owned businesses. At a news conference this morning, Mayor Jim Payne proclaimed this week as Black-Owned Business Week. The city believes supporting these businesses will not only strengthen the local economy, but also help close the local wealth gap, foster job creation, and celebrate the community's black culture. My call to the community is to support these businesses, not just this week, uh, but throughout the year, and show that this really is a community that works for everyone. 
We spoke with the president of a Twin Ports nonprofit who told us this is a big step forward in fixing a broken relationship between local governments and minority communities. You cannot close the gap or the wealth gap for the African American community in the Twin Ports without relationships with those who make decisions about finances. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, black business owners account for about 10 percent of all of the businesses in the country. Payne said in Superior, a half dozen black entrepreneurs opened up new businesses this year. Still to come on live local CBS3, more than a year has gone by since nine people, including Kobe Bryant, were killed in a helicopter crash. Who investigators blame? Coming up next. CBS3 Live Cams are brought to you by Kohler Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. You're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. Have you guys tried the brain freeze? No, brain freeze um, sounds disgusting. No, it's it's sour gummy worms. Oh, I love it. It's so good. You guys have to try it. What about oh, dragon's yeah. blood? I feel like that would be like a chance. You just missed the tobacco industry's latest scam. Have you guys tried the Because you were supposed to. Tobacco companies use tempting flavors to hook kids on nicotine. Unfortunately, it's working. Do you want some? Sure. See what you've been missing at missingitmn.org. Honey, what are you doing? Carpet's getting a little long. Tripping hazard. Whoa, 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 whoa! Rock! <laughs> Who wants a brat? Honey, just get in already. It's okay to be a little overprotective. Seriously? After all, it's how we feel about our customers. Western National Insurance. What drew me to Bell was their reputation for taking great care of their employees and their customers. I find Bell to be exactly what they promoted themselves to be. If you want a family-centered, culturally driven organization who's going to give back to the community, a bank that you're able to work with, people that you know and trust, come to Bell Bank. I'm so happy I made the switch to Bell, and I know you will be too. Familiar and new. Bell Bank. Banking, mortgage, wealth management, and insurance. You already know that Carrie Toyota and Superior is a great place to buy and service your vehicle. But we have a lot more to offer every driver and not just people with Toyotas. We have the Yakima line of products for the adventure seekers, including roof racks, bike and kayak racks, and cargo carriers. We also have running boards, bed steps, and access brand tonneau covers like I put on my truck. And for those of you who like a clean vehicle, we have professional detailing services and all-weather floor liners from Toyota and WeatherTech. Carry Toyota and Superior, we have something for every driver. It is the question that matters the most, that takes you behind the story. There is some positive breaking news. It drives everything we do. It is the foundation of trust and the truth that propels us forward. What did you make of that? It is the question. One word, three letters long. And without it, our purpose... Did the President of the United States incite all of this? And our freedom fade. This is why. Every day during your birthday month, you can receive up to $30 in club cash. Don't let the weather ruin your day. Covered by a winter storm watch. Dave Anderson, Caitlin Moffat, and Peter Kavitkowskis. The CBS3 weather team. Tracking more than just severe storms. Dave Anderson. Today, the NTSB blamed the helicopter pilot for the crash that killed nine people, including NBA legend Kobe Bryant, just about a year ago. Investigators say the pilot flew into a wall of clouds that left him unable to tell which way was up. It's something called spatial disorientation. Investigators say he ignored his training and violated federal regulations that day. They also say there was no evidence Kobe pushed the pilot to fly into fog that day. Now, while the report closes the case, it provides little closure for the victims, their families, and Brian's fans. Still ahead in sports, a matchup 22 years in the making tonight in Duluth. Kelly's in with sports next. Eye on Mining is brought to you by Iron Mining Association, Range Regional Airport, and Miners National Bank of Eveleth.
I'm Carrie Harris, owner of Diabetic and Comfort Shoes. We have been in business in the Northland, helping you with your everyday foot problems stemming from diabetes to plantar fasciitis for the past 17 years. Stop in and see the complete line of men's and women's shoes, from Sass to Allegria to Vionic, for those millions of people battling plantar fasciitis. And we still have a great selection of comfortable shoes for diabetics. Medicare and Minnesota Healthcare approved. Remember, no foot problem is too big or too small. We'll find the way to your soul. Hey, Dutch boy, show me Mocha Red. Okay. Does it have a smooth, durable finish? Yes, and it's 50% more stain resistant. You still talking to Dutch boy? Dutch boy, show me Sleepy Purple. Okay. Oh, would you look at that. That's better. He'll still help us paint, right? With Dutch Boy's high-quality, high-performance paint and Menards-friendly expert service, it's easy to twist off to something great. You're handier than I thought. This is one of the biggest furniture events of the year. The President's Sale at Slumberland. Come on. Slumberland Furniture has the best prices around on all sorts of furniture. And right now at our President's Sale, everything is an additional 25% off our already low price. This is totally you. Oh. Yeah, this is the winner. Well, hello, Slumberland. Get your look for less at the huge President's Sale at Slumberland. When facing a major healthcare decision, it's wise to seek a second opinion from a team of established experts. Financial decisions deserve the same level of care and expertise. At MPPL Financial, we develop your plan by assembling a personalized team that includes experts in multiple disciplines. So the result is a coordinated care plan that covers all areas of your financial life. Your outcome depends on the quality of care you receive. Call today to set up your free second opinion consultation or visit MPPLfinancial.com. With locations throughout the Northland and northern Wisconsin, Super One Liquor has you covered for all of your party and gathering needs. We have a commitment to deliver outstanding service, variety, and top quality wines and spirits. And don't forget the best variety of ice cold beer and beverages, all at the low prices you've come to expect. Super One Liquor, come for the service, leave with the savings. CBS 3 Sports with Kelly Hinson. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, high school teams all across the country are traveling less to play schools and are instead playing teams closer to home, which meant for the first time since 1999, Hermantown and Duluth East met on a frozen ice surface. A long-awaited matchup, 22 years in the making, the Hawks and the Greyhounds. How about this start from Hermantown? 19 seconds in, shot from the point. Aaron Peon cleans up the loose, change in front, and just like that, it's one nothing Hawks. Just a minute later, check out the play from Ethan Lund, just able to squeeze that one in to double Hermantown's lead. We head to the second. Hermantown now up 3 nothing Hawks shorthanded, but Aiden Dowd goes short side to light the lamp. Hermantown downs Duluth East tonight, 5-1 to one the final. Hot starts have kind of been our thing, so we really were able to get out and jump right on them. First shift, Fish got one, bam, and a minute or two later we got that second one, and now we can relax a little bit and just play our game. We haven't played East in about 20-some years, so obviously it's a big game for us. We knew we had to play big. Another big game on Thursday against the Rapids in the conference. Got to win it. Down at NCU Arena, just the third game of the season for Duluth. Denfeld back from a COVID pause taken on CEC. A similar theme in this one, get going fast. Scott Sandlin must be coaching these teams. Less than two minutes in, it's the brothers McClure. Cooper finds Connor. Denfeld sets the tone with an early one, but CEC would get a power play shortly after and turn it back the other way. Logan Dushkin through traffic. It was Denfeld, though, who had the last push with 20 seconds left in the frame. Are you kidding me, Sam Karch? Breaks out the old sandwich while falling down. So good you have to see it twice, of course. It was 3-1 to one after one. 
Hunters go on to win it 7-4 the final. And our game on My Nine tonight featured two teams up on the Iron Range. Chipping Chisholm taking on Virginia at Miners Memorial Arena. Less than five minutes in, Brennan Peterson gets the feed from Ryan Scherf right in front. The backhander will make it one nothing. Blue Jackets have an answer three minutes later. Bo Frider on the breakaway. Little fake flips one in to tie things up at one heading into the first intermission. We head to the second. Ethan Lund with the cross ice pass to Connor Willard. Jackets retake the lead with that one. And they pretty much seal it three minutes later. 11 seconds into a power play. Jackets again. Frider with the initial shot. Joe Allison on cleanup. That makes it two to one. Hibbing goes on to get a few more. They win four to two the final. And the WIAA section semifinal between Superior and New Richmond down in Spooner, Wisconsin. First period, Tigers strike first. Reese Hubner with a shot out front. He scores to quickly make it a one nothing game for the Tigers. Spartans, though, have an answer. Robert Powell picks the pocket of his defender, capitalizes by putting the puck in the net. That thing's even things up at one. Tigers get one back. Andrew Rude fires the centering pass for the equalizer, and it's 2 a piece to the third puck goes out to Lucas Williams. He fires, scores, puts the Spartans on top with the clock winding down. And just a few minutes after that, scrum in front of the net. Somehow, Caden Laya makes the puck go in the net, and Superior has a two-goal lead. They go on to win four to three. They move on the final. And it was unfortunately another day of college sports cancellations in the Northland. A reminder that nothing is guaranteed in the middle of a pandemic. The UMD Women's Hockey Series against Minnesota State Mankato this weekend has been officially postponed. The Mavericks have paused all team activities for seven days due to COVID-19 protocols, which prevents this weekend's series in Mankato from happening. It's the third WCHA series that has been called off this season for the Bulldogs. UMD is also scheduled to play the Mavericks in Duluth next weekend. That's going to do it for sports tonight. We'll be right back after the break. CBS 3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health St. Mary's Heart and Vascular Center. Don't avoid care during COVID-19. Ask your doctor how to stay heart healthy. Amazing power. Amazing speed. One ultra cool price. Take your internet to the extreme starting at $19.99 a month for one year. Experience blazing hot speeds from 60 meg up to 1 gig. Turn up the intensity with powerful in-home Wi-Fi. And stay chill with 99.99% network reliability. Get extreme internet starting at $19.99 a month for one year. Dial 844-EXTREME2. Do you worry about going to the dentist? Well, relax. The Carefree Dental Card is now available in your area. Call the number on your screen and we'll send your actual card at no cost today. With the Carefree Dental Card, you go to the dentist whenever you need and you instantly pay a lot less. The Carefree Dental Card is just $15.95 a month. So call now and make going to the dentist carefree. Call 1-800-945-8449 to receive your free Carefree Dental Card information kit. Everything that happens on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of news, no matter what happens in news, weather is always constant, weather is always changing as well, so it's still an important role as the meteorologist to kind of still stay grounded and to kind of just know that role and what to take and kind of just make sure you're delivering what's the most important for your viewers, but then also I like to touch base on the national things. All of those news stories also tie in with weather stories because they do go kind of hand in hand. Watch Jenna and Caitlin in the morning at 5 and 6 a.m. Okay, Dad. One, two, three. Ah! You saved me. Dad? Are you okay? I'm fine, dear. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. When most people have ended their day, ours is just starting. Good morning. I'm Jenna Wells. When news and weather happen overnight, we're there. As stories break in your neighborhood, you can count on us to bring you the details. For scores and more, we've got you covered. Hi, I'm Kelly Hinsett. Why? Because the news that matters to you matters to us. Plus, this is our home, too. We're live. We're local. 
Tonight for CBS 3. Men's Wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Celebrating 30 years in business in 2021 with 30% off store-wide. Downtown Duluth. Well, if a diamond is forever, what's a meteorite? Well, they may not be symbols of love, but these space rocks hold a special place in some collectors' hearts. Auction House Christie's will be selling 75 of these alien stones in an online auction. Some of them come from the moon, some from Mars, and others from meteorite showers. While some of the specimens are expected to fetch prices of up to $80,000, there is some more modestly priced interplanetary rubble. Bidding for some pieces starts at just 250 bucks. That auction is already underway hmm. at the Christ, at on Christie's website. 250 bucks, Dave. That doesn't sound like too bad Not for a piece bad, of. Uh, 25 dollars is more my price yeah. range. You know, <laughs> for a little knickknack to put down in the basement. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be cold tonight. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be cold like the dark side of the moon. It seems. Overnight low temps tonight, 15 to 25 below, then two below for a high tomorrow. 30% chance for flurries on Thursday. That's about the biggest excitement we have until it hits 7 above come Monday, which is a sign we could make 12 on Tuesday. Looking forward to that. Thanks for joining us tonight.